28 cast with Tigers, 28 the first draw in the Betfred Super League 2024. What a game at the LSB Prime Time TV on a Saturday evening. Oh, yes. Fantastic stuff. Let's get into it. First and foremost, we talk about the middle unit all the time. The League Leopards, don't we? 626 metres they made in this game. 566 for the cast with Tigers. They were right there, toe to toe. Don't worry about that. Liam Watts, superb up against Tom Amon. 148 metres from 17 carries from Liam. 39 tackles in D as well. He did a phenomenal job. Then about the backs. Well, actually, the backs' performance, that went the way of the Casford Tigers. Some wonderful running from them. 865 metres played, 804 for the Lee Leopards. This was a brilliant game. It was a game of fine, fine margins. Yes, the missed tackles were all over the place at times for the Casford Tigers, but they stayed in the grind. They stayed right on it. Craig Lingard will be delighted to have backed up last week with his performance at the LSB. This is a real statement from them. Maybe, just maybe, they're not going to be finishing 11th this season. Mm, that's an interesting one, isn't it? What a game. Let's start with that first drive from Lewis Senior. Yet again, a cut-out ball attempt on the left edge to Josh Charlie for the Lee Leopards. And again, it was intercepted. Oh, yes. Down goes Lewis Senior down the line. He's got, he wasn't going to get done reminiscent of the one he got. Wigan, of course, who can for the get that great great try from the loney mr lewis senior oh yes well actually i think he's full time now isn't he actually coming as part of the deal hasn't he uh that took a uh, broad bend the other way anyway great great try from uh, lewis senior that one congratulations to him and that was backed up by tex hoy with a big don't argue on ricky latelli you don't see that often oh tex hoy seven tackle bus in this game that's his biggest haul of the season in that stat this season outstanding effort from mr hoy in he goes and the 10 nil up who'd have thought it they're in disneyland aren't they outstanding where's goofy and mickey mouse in the stand they were saying outstanding stuff and then of course back come the league leopards in pure beautiful Lee Leopard fashion. What a great try that first one was by Matt Moreland. It was Lee-esque, wasn't it? There's two tries that Lee really execute well. The one out to Charlie, albeit obviously not for the senior interception, and the ones down the middle where it's intricate, you know, really good in and around the play. You know, off goes he Pappy again, back into the side. Oh, Lamb, Moreland, just wonderful combination. We see it all the time. I see Arto and he's in there. Outstanding, outstanding stuff from the Lee Leopards, and all of a sudden they're right back in it. Then he Pape goes over. Back, of course, Edwin Pape. It was a solid enough start to his, uh, his return. You know, he'll be very, very pleased with Edwin with his performance in this one. I thought it was all right. 63 metres from eight carries for him. You know, he got a tackle bust. He got a tackle break, a, a clean break, and he also got his try. So he'll be delighted with that. And then just before half time, heartbreak for Casper Tigers. And you did fear for him at this point when Charlie went into the corner. He enjoyed it. Shades of Ryan Hall from Mr. Charlie, I would say, on that one. He enjoyed it. He turned into Pat Marit, Fred throwing, you know, throwing the old uh, the corner flag here, there, and everywhere like a javelin. Really enjoyed that one. Did Josh Charlie. Not He's as prolific as he was last season in the try scoring charts, it has to be said. But hey, well done to Josh. In he goes. Fantastic try. And then Lee come out second half and put even more points on. Go 24 points to 10 up with that Ricky Latelli try. And at this point, you're thinking, well, that's probably it. But no, Wood scores. And again, it was all about Texoy, wasn't it? Off he goes down the left hand side. Beautiful pace yet again. Really poor defence on the right edge, it has to be said. That wasn't good enough. But off goes Texoy down, down the left hand side. Wood, who had another superb game, I have to say. Really, really liking uh, Sam Wood this season. 199 metres from 25 carries in this game. He got his try. He got himself three tackle balls. He had a clean break. Sam Wood, the combination between Wood and any senior is really coming on, isn't it, for the Casper Tigers. That was a great try. Well done. It's now uh, 24 points to 16. And then, you know, Lachlan Lamb goes in for a try that he deserved. I thought this was Lamb's best performance of the season thus far. I thought he was superb for the Lee Leopards on the night. Ian, he goes in the corner, albeit he did morph into Ricky Latelli, if you listen to the commentary team, but that's another story. And now it's 28 points to 16. And you're thinking, right, surely, surely that's it. 70 minutes, 10 minutes to go. There you go. Adrian Lamb will be furious. Absolutely furious that his team gave away two tries in that last 10 minutes. The first, of course, in his senior. His 10th of the campaign. Playing some wonderful, wonderful Wonderful rugby league in his senior. Nicely taken try on the left-hand side. And then, of course, the Lewis senior try goes in on the right edge. Two very difficult kicks from Rowan Mills, who also had a great game, I felt. You know, this kid's a great, great player. We said it last week. Great that he's getting the run in the side. And, he, you know, for him, in pressure conditions, let's not forget that final conversion came on 79 minutes. It had to go over or Lee were going to win. Great, great pressure cooker moment, that. And he, you know, just stayed calm and said, there you go. Let's make it 28-28. Brilliant stuff. It wasn't, a, a, you know, the only real block on this game is 
Night of the team, really good at uh, drop goals, it has to be said. I mean, I, I really was surprised that Lachlan Lamb weren't putting his hand up for more, albeit his one attempt was pretty poor. But yeah, I mean, look, 28 all, you could argue neither of the team deserved to lose. As a neutral, it's a fantastic game in rugby league, let's be clear on that. Uh, but I think both coaches, especially Adrian Lamb, will be disappointed. Steph Sale in the Final Whistle podcast, if you've not listened to that yet, go and get it on Apple, Amazon and Spotify. It's available for you to go and listen to right now. He said he believes now there's a mountain to climb for the Leopards for the top six, having got only a point in this one. He sees he sees this game as that crucial to their ambitions for the top six Lee Leopards fans. Do you agree with Steph Sale? Get in the comments, let us know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, as for Craig Lingard, he'll be delighted. Absolutely delighted. Like I've said already, maybe, just maybe, they're not going to finish second bottom this season. After all, you know, a lot of youth in that time, they're playing well. Let's call out some really big Big, big performances in this, in case you didn't see them on the day. El, Ellie Elzakem, uh, or Zakim, whichever way you want to say it. Outstanding performance from this guy. He really is a fine, fine acquisition. 106 metres, but 46 tackles in D. You know, these these second rowers really put in an effort. Alex Meller as well, 31 tackles in D. He did 195 metres as well uh, for the Casper Tigers. So some really, really solid play in that middle unit, especially the second rowers. Absolutely outstanding. Westman did 40, 41 tackles. So, you know, it was all about good, solid quality defence from the Casper Tigers that allowed them because let's be fair I think on the balance of play maybe Lee were slightly better for longer periods but Castleford stayed in the grind and that is why they could get themselves back into the game so some wonderful performances and there's no doubt Westerman McShane has made a massive difference to the Castleford Tigers I thought Corey Hall played well and I also believe that uh, Louis Senior well you know on the two senior brothers now on both wings they're looking like they could pack a punch for the Casper Tigers well done to you as for the Lee Leopards like I say Tom Amone 198 metres from 27 carries you know the, the, the best performing prop forward on the field no real surprises there the South Sydney Rabbitohs are 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 lurking, aren't they? And I, I do fear that the Lee Leopards are going to lose the big man. And that's a real hammer blow, not only for Lee, but for Super League. Tom Amone has been a revelation uh, since, uh, you know, coming into... Super League. I thought Latelli had another good game, 180 metres for him in the game. 19 carries, 10 tackles from Luki Latelli. He was, of course, in our team in the month last month, albeit he was on the bench. But yeah, he's continuing his superb form. Like I say, there were just so many great performances in this game. We'd be here all night, and of course, in the sheds, we can't be here all night. So let's get into the 3 2 1. Who are we giving the three points to? I can't believe it, but it's Tex Hoy. He's a different player at Castleford. Go on, Tex, lad. You made me eat my words. Oh, yes. Spicy. Tex Hoy. Tex Bex. Spicy. Spicy indeed. Fantastic stuff from Mr. Hoy. A brilliant, brilliantly taken try. Like I say, took some scoring. You know, he's running at Ricky Latelli. Massive size disadvantage. In he goes. Not a bit of it, which shows his character, shows he's right up for the fight since going to the Casper Tigers. Two very nicely taken assists from him as well. 196 metres, 27 carries from him, seven tackle busts. Like I say, his biggest all yet. Three clean breaks. What more do you want from your fullback? Absolutely outstanding. The two points I'm going to give to Lachlan Lamb. I thought Lamb's performance was his best of the season. Very nicely taken try. Two really good assists from him. He ran 112 metres from 24 carries. He got himself three tackle busts and a clean break on the day. I thought Lachlan Lamb was brilliant for the Lee Leopards. And now it's a real lottery. Who do you want to give the one point to? There's just so many players that you could give this one point to. But I'll tell you now, you know, everybody will be shouting at me. It's got to be Matt Morland, Dave. Mate, Dave, it's got to be Matt Morland. No, I'm actually going to give it to one of the Casper players because, like I said, I think defence really played a key part in this game. And one player that did a massive, massive shift on both sides of the ball was Liam Watts. He'd come up against Tom uh, Tom Amone. He did 148 metres for 17 carries. He did four tackle busts on, in the game. He did himself a clean break and he also did 39 tackles in defence. That's quality from the prop forward. You have to say it. A real good effort from Liam Watts. We know he's been in and out of the squad, uh, you know, injuries and, and, and suspensions this year. But when you're going to go up against the likes of Tom Amone, you've got to be on your day. And Liam Watts was on his day. So I'm going to give that what, you know, they're away from home. Let's be clear, crystal clear on this. They're away from home against a really such strong Lee Leopard side. It took heroes to get that point for the Casper Tigers. And Liam Watts is certainly a hero. Don't you worry about that. So there you go. There's 3 2 1. Do you agree with me? You probably don't. Well, let, hey, get in the comments. Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 28 points apiece. What a game at the LSB. Oh, give me more. You can watch this all day long. Rugby League, greatest sport on earth. And this was just another example as to why. Forget the Premier League. They're all drab games compared to this. This is what you should be watching every single week. Congratulations to both teams for putting on a spectacle of quality for all of us neutrals. We'll be back later in the day with more in the show.